Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to be talking to you about my university experience now that I'm at the end of it and I'm finished and just giving you guys a few tips that I feel would be beneficial to any university students to be honest with you and um, but I'm also going to give some tips that would kind of um what's the word I'm looking for that would apply to nursing students in particular because that's the course that I did um so yeah hopefully you guys find this video helpful and I'm just gonna get straight into it I've obviously made a list on my phone because as I say in like nearly every single video like you guys know me by now like I'm I just forget stuff I forget everything so I always have to make a list on my phone. First thing I would advise you guys on would be definitely to make connections. I was watching a video by Patricia Bright um, like a few days ago because she did, you know, tips on her university experience and being successful and stuff like that. She said that networking and just making friends, even if they're not like your close friends, just talking to people and forming some kind of like a relationship just like talking to people in your class and networking because you never know when that person might you know have some information that you might need or just something that may come in help that may come in helpful or handy for you for example like i had an experience where um there was this particular module where it was just like really really tough and i literally if it wasn't for this one guy in my class i would have failed because he had all the notes that i didn't have and i was able to just like cram them and just I don't know how I managed it like literally if it wasn't for that guy I would have failed and I would also say like use people now I know that sounds really bad I'm not saying like take advantage of people in a negative way but we all have different strengths and weaknesses and skills so like you may have certain skills that another person may find helpful same way someone might have skills that you may find helpful and if you're able to like use the skills that th that person has um to like advance yourself and whatever you're trying to achieve then why not like it doesn't have to be in a negative way like I said um but yeah just try and like talk to as many people as you can and um, for nurses in particular or student nurses rather whenever you're on placement try to talk to like the nurses or the students in the years above you that's one thing that I found really really helpful like talking to interns when I was still a supernumerary student they obviously had been through all of the things that was coming up for me they had done most of the assignments that I would have to do in the future so they were able to like give me tips what to do what not to do in the same way I've been able to help a lot of the um students in the years below me in my course as well even if it's like sharing past assignments like I still have all of my assignments on my laptop so I will email you know my past assignments my past notes and stuff to students in the year below me same way that I have gotten emails from students above me yeah to help with my current assignment and stuff like that so yeah definitely just like network and make connections that's a very 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 important tip like if you leave like this video which is one thing make connections that's very 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 important number two I would have to say form a good relationship with your lecturers with your tutors your preceptors mentors whatever it is whatever the situation is in your course um because you never know when like their help or their like influence is going to come in handy like for me in particular i always try to make a good impression with my managers on placement um so by the by the time i reached my internship and the end of my internship like all of the managers knew me and they were all like asking me oh did you apply for a job yet we'd love to have you stay on with us if i was a, like i'm not gonna, <laughs> if i was a bitch for like the whole time i was there or if I wasn't like hard work and if I just didn't like put up a good impression like they wouldn't have given me references for my CV but I was able to get references for my CV even though I'm not staying with them they still put in a good word for me um for another job that I was going for so you always want to make good impressions for just everyone make like form good relationships with every single person you possibly can lecture wise um forming good relationships can come in handy when it comes to like reading drafts or just getting like extra tips on your assignments and stuff like that sending them emails like 
think about it they're dealing with so many students in the one course or the one year and they have not just your year they have obviously like first year second years if your year if your course is a four-year course that's four years of like 200 plus students that's a lot of people but if you can stand out in some way they'll be more willing to like give you that extra bit of help that you may ask for or that extra bit of advice that you may need to further your career basically number three i would have to say collect information now i know this sounds a little bit weird but like what i mean by collect information is make sure you know what you need to know to reach your goals like if you need a certain cut off mark to get like certain grade or to you know meet a certain um, benchmark if you're like because each university is different each faculty may be different know the different breakdowns of like what you need to achieve to reach your goals like for me I probably should have like looked up the marking scheme and the criteria way earlier on in the course but I only did that in final year if I had known exactly what they were looking for I probably would have gotten better grades so that's one thing that I wish I had done a little bit differently um because like all this stuff is up on the website guys this may sound like common sense to some people but then again there's people like me who didn't have that common sense starting off and i had to learn the hard way so yeah just definitely find out the criteria uh, or like you know the marking scheme that's just even that so you know exactly what they're looking for when they're marking your assignments and you can use that then as a guide to just kind of like frame your work so you, like they can't mark you down on too many places if you've given them exactly what you know they're looking for another thing i would have to mention would be like proofreading your assignments oh my goodness like you would be surprised how much you can fall down on a grade because of grammatical errors or sentences that just don't flow properly so like it's easy to like obviously you're not going to be able to proofread yourself all the time because it's your own work and certain things may not stand out to you the way it would stand out to like someone else reading it so I usually would advise you or advise people to get your work proofread by someone who knows the topic say like a fellow student like I said nurses that have already graduated that you know you've made friends with them if the lecturer wants to read drafts you can obviously like definitely if your lecturer takes drafts send them like at least at least one draft draft before the submission date um because like they're basically just going to tell you what you did and what you did wrong and then there's no way you can get a bad grade if they've kind of pre-marked it already um but definitely like get someone who knows the topic to read it and give you their opinion get someone who doesn't know anything about the topic to read it and give you their opinion because i feel like for example if i can write an assignment and get someone who knows nothing about nursing to understand what i'm trying to say then it's a good assignment because like you like it's kind of a skill academic academic writing that you need to build up so i would definitely advise to practice you know your writing skills and then just get as many people as you possibly can to read it and then you'll kind of develop your own writing style and improve your like academic writing skills that way lastly obviously because like fitness is a huge part of my life i always always get asked oh my god stephanie like how do you manage to still go to the gym and still like eat healthy and all that stuff while being you know a full-time university student well honestly i would have to say like planning is a huge huge part of it like for example instead of spending say five euro or five pounds in a day on you know campus meals and stuff you can just meal prep the night before if you like rice just make some rice make some chicken make some veg keep it in a container when you're leaving in the morning heat it up like really really hot if there's no microwave where you're going you can always eat your food warm like it's not that deep like you're not this is it's really just not that much of a huge deal i feel you can just have your food warm eat it when you need to eat get your work done and you leave and then you can have your nice hot dinner when you go home yeah so that's what i used to do most of the time or i would like make sandwiches obviously sandwiches or i just wouldn't eat and i would eat when i get back home it depends on what your schedule is like and i lived literally like 10 minutes walk 
from the campus if even 10 minutes so that wasn't a huge deal for me but i definitely would advise like just meal prep make your food at home and bring it to uni you will save so much money fitness wise i have a video on home workouts i'll link it in the description below um yeah if you can't go to the gym just work out at home when you get home from college or university sorry or depending on you know if you have late starts work out before you go obviously you're gonna have at least one day off in the week or one day where you're finished like a half day or something you can always work out then or go to the gym you can get a bike and cycle i got a bike i cycle now you know i don't have placement anymore but a lot of the time i did use the cycle to placement if it's not too far um, but yeah, there's so many ways that you can keep fit and save money at the same time. Student budget doesn't mean, you know, it's not the end of anything. Like that doesn't really stop you from being healthy if you really want to be healthy. There's many, many ways you can go around the obstacle. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it there before I continue rambling and rambling. I hope you guys find these tips helpful. Make sure to thumbs up this video if you like these kind of like talky videos. Um, and obviously if you find this video helpful share it with your friends because I know it's like back to school slash back to university back to college season um, so yeah definitely share this with your friends and your family leave a comment below if you have any further questions anything that I didn't answer in this video um, yeah just like comment below and I'll definitely answer that or you can email me my emails in the description box as well so yeah i'm gonna leave it there guys make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and i'll see you in my next one bye